Now we will look uh, how to create a tool that will help us to color every hair individually and also to control tip to root coloring and use the textures to drive all these parameters. Here we have our sphere and to proceed with creation of our tool we will need to have some attributes on the curves that support our work. We need to, to have ID that is every curve will have its own number and and we will also need attribute that creates a gradient on a curve from root to tip we will have every point linearly interpolated from 0 to 1 let's visualize that here is the var view so if we render that attribute that attribute looks like this so every root here is black and the tip is white to control the position so we need to create a node that is called if greater or equal we will put the input to be input one to be one and input two to be zero and we will check these two values against each other so right now we are checking if the input value that comes in is greater than or equal to zero if it is then everything will be one so if i change this this value you will see that i'm just going through the gradient and making that very easy to control. To make things easier, we will pack this into the subnet and we will create subnet input connector. We will call that position and default value to be one. So to, to make this more intuitive, we will invert this. Let's say we want 10% of tips to be white. To achieve that, we will just use subtract and we will actually subtract from one. We'll just invert the value that comes in. So now we, ha we can say like our tip is 10% white or 50% or fully. And now we will create fall off control. What we need to do, we need to create range node. So now we need to create our input and we will call that fall off. And then we will create subtract and add so what we want to do we want to take this value and we want to subtract and add create two new values for our fall off and let's say our fall off is very small then we want to take this as an input and then this one be in low and in high and see how that looks so now what we have here, we can control here a position and we can also control how much gradient we have more or less. And you, as you can see, if this value is zero, so if it's really small, it's fine. But if this value is zero, it will not work. And we need to, we need to clump that. So we need to create a switch here. When this value fall off, if it's zero, he could just use the top one. And if it's greater than zero, then we will use that one. Or we will create if greater than, and we will plug this as input like that and then we will plug the top one to input two and the bottom now we have a control over position and also a fall off so if the fall off is a zero then he uses that branch this this one and if the fall off is bigger than zero then he switches to this one to this node let's look now how we can create a percentage for percentage, we need our ID. There is nothing to visualize there, except that every hair its own number. So what we need now is a random float. And what random float does, assigning 
a random value to every hair that we have. We are plugging the ID into the seed because we want every hair to have its own seed random value. So now what we need to do, create the similar greater than or equal. Here we are controlling our percentage. But what we want, we want to want to say we are 100% white, 0 0.5 would be 5, 0 1, 10 percent So we need to invert this and easiest way to invert this is to change these numbers. So now we could say 1 is 100% and less than that would be like this. So let's create input that controls the percentage so in default is one and connect that there and we also want to be able to change the seed we'll say here add so if i now change the seed now we can control the seed too so that would be our percentage now we want to combine these two with uh, multiply just maybe 10% position a little bit of fall off and then we could say percentage maybe just 50% of them have white tips this way we can control here layering better now when we have our uh, mask created we want to add our color mixing so we will create our melanin node that we packed into the asset we need a mix mix for color and mix for absorption and that would mix colors and here we will put the color here it would be absorption and we also want to create the outputs for that so let's create color and set up that to be color and output that absorption so now we need to connect a mix here and we also want to create inputs base base color base absorption And this needs to be a color. This needs to be a color. Okay, so now when we connect the color, here we have a melanin. And here we drive percentage and so on. So we need also to create the inputs for redness and melanin. Okay, so we have redness, melanin, base color. And what also we want to do, we want to have possibility to, instead of using just a melanin node, have a mix of regular color. So what we will do, we will create another input and call that layer color and make that to be a color so what we want to do we want to what we had before we want to invert this so we will use log natural log and we will also multiply this with minus one and what also we want to do we want to create input switch this would be our melanin switch if equal and we will connect that switch to the top and we will say if it's checked in then we will use here absorption or we will use this conversion and we will create another one that will also use the switch and we will connect the color or it will be a melanin color and then this would be color from the absorption so the color will go into the color and absorption would go into absorption so now we have our setup what we also want to create here as an extra attribute let's just change this switch is a mix control so we will call this 
mask mask already exists we need to call this one out so we need a mask as input and here multiplier this mask will control that and these guys can go from here and default mask would be to one so that we can mix uh, a simple mix layering on top after uh, that's our mask that's our outputs okay so let's package this into the asset so now when we package all this into the asset and organize our groups we have a color and a mask and on the bottom we have a melanin that gets hidden if it's not checked so if i change this to let's say percentage so melanin value i'm using now inside as we did a switch here that will use a layer color or it will use a melanin so if i check this off now it's this color so it can be any of those and then position can be controlled we can switch to a melanin and we have fall off and we have a mask so let's reset all this to the default values and let's set up a percentage fully and pick up some melanin values let's say this one and now that's our base and if i put another layer like this and connect to my output of my base connect to a base color and this color to the output and here if i change a value and i lower the percentage now i could have just a couple of them black for example or maybe just a tips like this a percentage let's see how that looks with the uh, karma fur so here in karma fur actually let me move that here in karma fur we have absorption input that goes directly into the formula for hair absorption we also have a base color but the base color gets transformed inside into the absorption and we actually want the full control of that so if i connect that one and let's turn on the lights and set up this to the proper color space and go here and this is default values of the shader we'll just put them all to zero and connect our absorption here and now we can we also need to change the scale here to 0 5 and connect also the base absorption to our base absorption to pick up that we don't need this color mixing now anymore if you are doing only absorption so this is our base base color that we had let's look like this and we have a tips in a percentage black so if i if i make more of them you can see them now appearing on the edges or i change the length so they are going deeper fully percentage and just some of the tips and this is how we will control and layer our fur